Hi guys, gals, and NBs. Let's go on another touch designer adventure together. But this time, we might have to move away from the keyboard for a little bit. I know. Scary thought. We are looking at point clouds. How to create your own with just a phone. How to render them in touch designer. And a method of manipulating them. Fun stuff. Of course your point clouds will be better if you have a LiDAR on your phone or if you use a paid service, like Polycam. But you don't need any of those fancy things. I don't have any of those fancy things. I use an app called Scaniverse. It is free and works very well. It can be a little bit rough if you try to scan something small and detailed, like a flower. But download the app. Find an interesting subject. Follow the instructions in the app. Export it as a .ply and send it to your computer. Easy as that. This summer, I did a lot of scans everywhere I went. Today, I'm gonna use one from a charming room I slept in for a few nights. Let's get started. Drop the file into Touch Designer. And let's just connect that to a null. Create an Add SOP. Enable Add Points. Connect that to a Convert SOP. And convert to particles per point. Connect it to a geometry. Add a camera. And for fun, let's use a point sprites material. Connect a render top. Plug it into a transform to create a background. And a null. And let's keep this in the background. In the geometry, enable instancing. Drag and drop the null and set R, G, and B. Like so. And now we have the points in 3D space. Let's add a null comp for the camera to look at. And set your camera. Let's bring out the color. Drop down a point file select top. And drag and drop the point file. In the select top, set the red, green, and blue options. Let's connect that to a null. And drag and drop that null to the color on the second instancing tab. Set red, green, and blue. But there is still no color. That's because we need to bring that down. Let's use a math top. And multiply the color with 1 divided by 255. And now you can see this beautiful room. Now you have successfully rendered your point file. Let's start having fun with this. Let's drop down a threshold top. And a noise. Under the output tab, make sure that you set it to multiply. Let's add that to the point file.
I'm noticing that my point file is a little bit crooked. I'm going to clean that up with point cloud transform top. But let's first add a null in the beginning. I'm just rotating this so it is square and making it a little bit smaller. and fixing the camera. I'm really struggling with this camera today. If anyone knows a better way to handle and animate the Touch Designer camera, please let me know. Okay, as you can see, this threshold lets you select certain parts of the point cloud. You can set it to red, green, or blue, depending on how you want it to move through space. You can also change the comparator type. I set mine to, not equal, and increase the softness. This is fun. You can animate this with an LFO, or make it audio reactive. Let's decrease this amplitude, and turn this into a particle system. We need to put a feedback here. Connect that to the second input of the noise and plug it into the add. Let's create a null and call it feedback end. Drag that to the feedback and blam. As we move the threshold around, we can see it spreading. Let's create a keyboard in to reset it. but we don't want it to permanently deform. We want to still have a memory of the original room. Let's create a fix for that. Create an info chop for the point file. Select res x and res y. Drop a noise top. And drag and drop the resolution from the info chop. Set it to 32-bit float mono, plus alpha. Bring the period down to 0 0.01. Let's animate this noise by typing in abs time dot seconds. Movement. Let's connect it to a threshold. Let's set it really high, like 0 0.98. Select top. And let's drag and drop this null that contains the unchanged point cloud. Let's multiply that with our threshold noise. Make sure the select is on the bottom. We want to sprinkle this in over our manipulated noise. Connect it to an over top. And connect this add top to the second input. 
Then we connect this to the end of the feedback loop. Now it is retaining its shape. Neat. As we move the threshold, it returns. Play with your noise until it's pretty. And let's animate the camera with an LFO. Why isn't this working? As I said, if anyone knows a way to make pretty camera movements, let me know. I'm just going to rotate the geometry instead of the camera. I'm just setting up the noise and the threshold a little bit. This is fun, I like this. We could be done here. And add some feedback to get some trails, but if we just add a feedback after the render, the camera moves will carry over. So let's look at another way. Let's add a texture 3D top at the end here. We need to add it to the color as well. This can be very GPU intense. So let's turn off these viewers. And there we go. I hope you will have fun with this. And if you want a deeper understanding of what we did today, I will link an excellent tutorial in the description that goes further into depth. Like and subscribe. Comment any questions. And feel free to share anything cool that you make with this. Tag me on Instagram. I love seeing when you share the beautiful stuff you make. Cheers.